Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you a few of the new features that are in XYZ Mesh version 7. Well, XYZ Mesh version 7 just released earlier this month, so in March. It actually, the official release date was March 14th. We actually re actually released it a few days earlier for a little pre-demo release to test everything out, make sure everything was going good before the actual release date. So a few of our customers actually got XYZ Mesh version 7 earlier than others, which is perfectly fine. It gave us time to test out uh, a few of the new features, improve a few things, and we actually released a few updates in between the date of release and the actual official release date. So everything was good. So we also went live that day and gave out a few licenses for free of XYZ Mesh version 7 for some of our viewers. And I would like to now go and create a video showcasing the new parts of XYZ Mesh version 7. Now, XYZ Mesh version 7 has had more updates than any other previous release to date of XYZ Mesh. And there's lots of new features. The first new feature you may notice is the input box right here has actually been updated. Used to, you could only, like, you would have to click, click off, and click back to get a selected cell. Now you can just paste directly in. And I actually have 55,000 data points uh, copied from a Excel document. And this is something new also inside of XYZ Mesh version 7. So what I had copied previously, and I'll bring that back up, this is a mountain range. And I'm going to zoom all the way down here so you can see. It is actually 54,000 data points that we have copied and pasted directly into XYZ Mesh version 7. And something that you may notice is uh, different with version 7 than version 6. If you ever used version 6, you would know that graphing this many data points this quickly, it would take, uh, it, it was just impossible. We have a new graphing engine that we have implemented into version 7. We have listened to our customers. We have taken every single upgrade opportunity that we possibly could implement within the year that we've been working on this and this was the major feature that was requested by our users and that was having a new graphing engine that was capable of handling more than just the standard couple thousand data points in fact this right here is 50 54 and a half thousand data points. This is a linear scan of an underwater mountain range. So you can see it's pretty neat. Something else that we added in, obviously this is raw data. This is not converted over into a mesh format. This is just raw data that we have had. We copy and pasted it and now we're graphing. We also included complete functionality of all the zoom, rotation, panning, and of a third axis rotation also, all with the mouse input. So literally I am doing all of this with the left click and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And if I want to pan, all I have to do is hold down both left and right mouse and drag and drop wherever I want and I can pan it in any direction. This is very similar to regular uh, CAD style programs it's very functional and it works great. I'm going to go ahead and reset my graph back down to the default so we can see. And all of these were features that were added in. Now this feature that I'm about to show you is also added in and it's inside the mesh whenever we convert it. The color variant. Now previously we did have color variants and it just showed the color variants in the graph. Now, however, you can see it in the raw data. So you can actually see where the different colors lay and at what points. So if we convert this over to mesh, you can see that it also converts it over to the cell shading in the mesh format as well. So that's pretty neat. We have also included an updated ground layer. So you can see it scales with the uh, points. It's no longer just the standard green and orange colored layer that we have. It is an actual grid layer, so that's really nice. And something else that we added in, I'm going to reselect that. You can have a bordering box. Now the bordering box, you can actually select the different colors you want for that, so it's easier to see. That will show you the scale 
a representation of how far the points are going. So that's really neat as well. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the main feature of XYZ Mesh, which is converting this data into a mesh format so you can export it into Excel. Now, the previously with XYZ Mesh version 6, if you had too many data points, it would not actually calculate it for you while you were converting. It would actually go all the way through the process and then it would say, hey, you have too many data points. Now, as you can see right here, I pur purposefully changed the decimal points to 4 and I did that because I knew that that would be too many data points for Excel to handle. So it actually comes up and pre-calculates everything for you so you can see if it's going to be able to export into Excel correctly. So right now it says that it's not. You can either optimize for Excel, Excel or decrease the decimal point value. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease the decimal point value because I know that three decimal points work. I've tested this out and I want to show you the conversion times. The conversion times have increased drastically. I mean, the amount of time that it takes has decreased to the point to where we've actually have a few of our optimization options previously that are completely, um, well, useless now because it converts so quickly. In fact, 55,000 data points condensed down to this in a matter of seconds. In the previous version, this would have took you hours to complete, and we did it in seconds. And all thanks to the new graphing engine. We do have a few more uh, advanced calculations going on in there, but for the most part, it's mainly the graphing engine that we have implemented. Another neat feature, this is something that was greatly requested by our customers. We have multiple inputs. For instance, we have points, same thing as we had before. We now have lines, so you can see exactly where the line structures are going. We have the mesh format, which we had previously, and this was very requested. We now have a surface graph, so you can see with a surface, surface graph, with a surface on there, all the different color variations, and this is a new feature to version 7. We also have on there, for people who have requested it, a triangle style mesh. So this is also available. Now, there are a lot of features that we've added into version 7. Mainly they have been uh, can reducing time, adding in new features with the graphing, However, if you pr prefer to have the old style graphing method, all you have to do is go up to graphing options and GPU graphing is a graphing that we have on by default and that is the version 7 graphing. If for whatever reason, reason you like the version 6 graphing and the calculations that the version 6 have, all you have to do is hit chart graphing. And by hitting chart graphing, we have to wait for this to load you see that we have the exact same features in version 6. So this is actually a version 6 type of graph and you can rotate it and zoom just like you would in version 6 as you can see. If you prefer to have version 6 the graphing options for version 6 is already built in. Now that is for customers who prefer version 6 over version 7. I personally like version 7 better so I'm going to change that right back. Okay. So let's go ahead and I want to show a couple of the new export options that we have available for XYZ Mesh version 7. A lot of them have just been optimized for different settings. I'm going to go straight into the export for Excel because we do have a new option right here, which is a no graph. Instead, you're going to have the cell coloring. So whatever's back here in the background. And I can go ahead and hit export this to Excel. And what this is going to do, it's going to condense the data down, copy the data the way we see it, and instead of producing a graph, it's going to produce a sh uh, cell shading layout for the mesh format. And if you want to add a graph to that, you can, but it's just going to produce a Excel document with the cell shading in it. Okay, and here we have it right here. And as you can see, we have a mesh format grid right there that is all color coded. So that is one of the new updates that we've added to version 7 as far as the exports. Now the big update that we've added to 
is the save and open function. So right now I can go ahead and I can save this and there's three different types of data uh, sorry three different types of formats I can save this as. I can save this as a standard XYZ mesh file which is an XYZM then I can also save it as an XYZ mesh encrypted file which means that it is securely locked down using your program's activation code so only your program with your activation code and your encrypted key can open that file that means that anyone who has a site license any company can open that up at their location so you can save a secure file and all the employees at your facility can open that up as long as you have a site license if you have a basic license or a single use license only your machine that you have your license code on will be able to open that file now you can transfer your license from one machine to another machine but only the machine that has your encryption code on it can open that file. And then we have a zip document. And a zip document will just contain all the basic raw data inputs from XYZ Mesh. So it will contain all your raw data. And you can use that as you wish. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this as a standard XYZ Mesh file. And I'm going to save this as a mountain range. Now saving the data does take a little bit of time, especially when you have 55,000 data points. It's not unbearable, but it does, it does take a little bit. It takes about as much time as it does to export into Excel. So it, it's a few seconds close to a minute. Okay, and there we have it. So why is that important? Well, it's important because now, if you can see right up here, we actually have the file saved right there. I can actually open up another project file that I have. For instance, this is a land survey using Google Earth latitude, longitude, altitude of a plot of land. And I can go ahead and I can open that up. Wait for it to load. And as you can see, I now have that plot of land that I have available right here. It's already converted into a mesh. I don't have to paste the data in. I don't have to wait for a conversion times. It's already loaded. And I can send this to anyone who has an XYZ mesh program. Now, if I only wanted this to show up for uh, people in my company that have a shared site license, then I could encrypt it. And then this would only be available to be accessed from a specified computer on our network. So that's a really neat feature that we have right there. And just to prove that this works and how much time it could actually save, let's go to open and I can open the mountain range that we just had previously. So as we can see, it's going to take a little bit of time to load. It's pasting in all the data. And there we have it. Now we have the mountain range, just like we had previously. It's right here. Everything is just as it was. Well, I would like to thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about XYZ Mesh, or if you'd like to suggest a video for us to uh, make or something you'd like to see about it or if you have a suggestion of something that you would like to see added to XYZ Mesh please let us know we always take all of our customers feedback to heart we always try to implement everything that we can that is feasible and we are not opposed to some hard work to make sure that our program is everything that our customers want it to be. So please, if you have a suggestion, if you have any comments or concerns, anything like that that you'd like to talk to us about, leave a comment down below. We would love to hear from you. If you like this content, you'd like to see more, go ahead, subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click that bell because apparently that does something. And if you absolutely hated this video, then share it with all your friends and let them know how bad it truly is. Because, you know, maybe they would actually like it. I mean, who knows? But thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. If you have any questions about this, please email our, our support. Leave a comment down below. Let us know how we're doing. Thank you very much.